Hello, I'm Chuck Wilson with Zebra Technologies. I'm the business development manager for print engines here in North America. And I'd like to talk to you today about the new ZE511 and ZE521 printers and look at the inside of the back of the printing, get into the components on the inside and the electronics. Uh, I'm showing you a ZE511 four inch device, but the ZE521 six inch device would look identical. You'll see our back shroud has no perforations and no fans. It's ideal for harsh environments. This is a workhorse of a printer. It's designed to go into the worst possible places um, and resist uh, intrusion by, you know, particulate matter and things of that nature. So feel free to put it in harsh environments. The back of the device, you have cable relief, stress relief clamps. Make sure you use those. Stops things from being pulled. You have a HDMI port so that you can remote the front panel up to two meters. There's a kit that allows you to plug that into the back and do so. You have your I.O. card. The I.O. card slides out for easy change. Move two jumpers, send a simple command to the device. You can change it from zero volts if you provide voltage yourself out of your device to five volts to 24 volts. It's galvanically isolated. It's designed to fold back on itself. It's really uh, it stands up against short, so if there's a short, just turn the printer off, remove the short, the I.O. card will likely come back up. So this was designed to be very robust. You have communication ports of USB, 9-pin serial, and wired Ethernet as standard, and then you have an expansion slot here. Take two screws out, put whatever card you're going to put in there, slide it in, and screw that in. So I can add a parallel card here if someone still uses a parallel interface. I can add another Ethernet card, wired Ethernet card here. Only one is active for communication, but if you add the card in, it makes it easier to swap out and keep the MAC address and the IP address married together. Or you could put in a wireless card and make this a wireless device. What's nice about adding those is on the front panel, I'm able to just go into the network menu, input, what I want from an IP standpoint, input an SSID, input security protocol type, and input the security password, hit reset network, and the unit comes back up um, very nicely onto a wireless uh, network, or you can set up your, your wired network that way as well. So there's four screws that hold this on that I've already taken out, so this slides right off and exposes the device now. And then if you're familiar with the cage system, it lets you have access to anything that you need. It's very, looks the same as the ZE500 did. If you look on the inside, I'll swing it open wide here to start. Single power supply. We used to have an AC and a DC power supply. Now we just have one. There's four screws and three cables, harnesses. You undo that, that is easily changed. And then we'll take a look at the rest of the inside here. So, you have in the back here, you have your ribbon system and ribbon board. Those have both been located here on the firewall. So, where the ZE500 was a quantum leap in serviceability, what we've done with the 511 and 521 is really finely hone that edge. We've developed these modules that allow you to troubleshoot down to a module and quickly change that module because the name of the game in automation is to stay up and running, right? It's all about uptime. So, like I said, power supply changes in four screws and three cables. Ribbon system all sits out here if you're running thermal transfer and that needs to be replaced. You have a cage system to take out all of your boards. Your I.O. card slides out of the back without even taking off the cover. And then, of course, you have your modular drive system. That should look very similar to what it did. One single inline connector to do that. And then there are three screws to loosen. And these three screws, just like the screws on the items on the front, are captured. So you're not worried about dropping screws if you're doing this in an environment. So that's easily taken out. These three couplings go through the firewall. That's where your platen, pinch, and peel rollers um, plug into.